Hello guys and welcome back to another TechNet video. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up a green screen in not just a studio environment but also in other places as well. You could be do doing it on location, yep. uh, on a shoot like I say, interview sort of thing. Um, really simple way. It took us a lot shorter than we initially thought that to set it up. Uh, how long did it take us in total? About, about seven yeah, minutes. Yeah, about seven minutes for us two to do it. So two of you, seven minutes, bam, uh, it's up. It worked really well, didn't it? The it end did. result came up quite nicely. So we're just going to talk through how to set up the green screen now uh, on a little uh, director's cut, I guess, isn't it? A little director's commentary on uh, a little video we filmed of us doing it. Let's do it. All right. So, um, just to start on the first frame, we've obviously got the big green cloth, wasn't it? A massive. Um, it wasn't really folded up very well. So this is like, imagine you've just got on location, you've pulled out the green sheet, um, and you, you, we're pretty much at this point trying to figure out which way around it goes, wasn't it? A bit like yeah. a bed sheet. Um, so we just play it forward here a little bit. Um, so yeah, once we've got that bit sorted, we obviously started draping it over. So you know, it doesn't, you don't have to drape it over a backdrop per se. You can, you can hang it up yeah, on anything. something. You know, as long as it's kind of dank, you know hanging down from it. Maybe a curtain rail if you're at a house or something. Mm. Just just anything really, as long as it you know, takes the weight, you're all good really. So I think this was kind of like the first step. We kind of paused here. Um, as you can see, our green screen curtain was long enough. So we left like a little trail yeah. at the front. Um, sometimes that can be really useful to you if you want to, if you know you're going to be uh, recording their feet. Yeah. So if you've got dancers or something like that, and you know you're going to have to cut out the feet, uh, the, the background later uh, below them, uh, you may want to look into having a longer trail like this, like we left here. Uh, which was really useful. So now what we're doing is just grabbing uh, a couple clamps. I think we used two on each side, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Um, and what, what would you say the main purpose of that is? So, so if you notice on the bottom of it now that Will's starting to straighten it out, those kind of creases are going to add more colour um, for, for you to chroma key out, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just makes the smoother you can have the green screen itself, mm. the less work you've got um, to do in post, essentially. So the clamps make it nice and taut, um, and means that that kind of green value is all one color, essentially. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Um, that's yeah. the reason for the clamps. So we're just looking for the smoothest surface possible, really. Yeah. Um, so so the chroma key only has to pick out one color to yeah. get rid of. Uh, so we're working a bit here. You can see there's still, there's still a few creases in there, but it's a lot better than it was before. It um, and for the computer, that'll be absolutely fine. So you chuck our chair in. Um, we're now starting to think about sort of like the location and setting up the lights. So as you can see, we're, we're bringing out the power sources over to our lights now. Currently, we still have the house lights on. That's yep. absolutely fine at this point, isn't it? You need to be able to see what you're doing when you're setting stuff up. It's a good point to say because do it in stages. If you've already got your lights already set up, you'll be tri like tripping over them trying to set yeah, your green screen exactly. out. So yeah. do it a stage at a time. Here we go. So what sort of lighting setup did we decide to go with in we the end for this? A, a kind of three-point lighting. Mm. You'll see why I say kind of in a minute because uh, obviously with green screen lighting, you need to light the backdrop so there's no shadows. Exactly. We almost use that as a slight backdrop uh, for Will. And then you have your key light and your fill light either side. It works really well. Um, we did have two lights on the backdrop, which isn't a bad thing. Again, it was just to keep that color value of green very even. Mm. Um, but we, in a hope, used those kind of the reflection off the back of the green to light the back of Will, um, which worked really well. So a kind of a makeshift three point light setup of sorts. Yes, using yeah. Four light sources, essentially. Um, and I think something to note here is that the lighting needs to be really flat on both the, the background and your subject. Yes. So you want to make sure uh, you'll see in just a moment when the lights on me um, there's no really like dynamic shadows like no. we did in the other lighting example video it's all really flat um, and that's fine for green screen otherwise yeah. it just doesn't look quite right mm. um, and for the background again really flat lighting you can see here when I'm just turning on this light as I turn up the brightness you see it goes almost on there it's always a great example yeah. of seeing it almost go one color you can see there's that sort of like spotlight there we move the chair a bit so uh, now we're just positioning seeing the, what we the, we're checking for here is to make sure the lights aren't casting a shadow um, onto the back. Yeah. Note uh, we've turned the house lights off. Now. Exactly. Like, that's yeah. why I went off frame. Is yeah. To turn the house lights off. Don't leave them on. Yeah. So now Steve's just double checking. He's waving his hand in there, just saying, "Okay, shadows aren't too bad." I'm sitting in position, and there's no drastic shadows being casted on the back no. there. There is I, a little bit. Yeah. We do fix it. And you'll see why. In a minute. Yeah. Um. So we're just having a little look. At the moment, it looks pretty good. Nice and even. Um, we're just making sure I'm in frame for the camera going into the center there. So Steve's now just making a few adjustments 
It's nice you've got the barn doors and the lights yeah. there, isn't it, as well? You can make small adjustments. And because the light was starting to be really um, shadowed on the back, that's why we're changing the direction of the light. So that way, when I do wave my hand across in a minute, there is a still a slight shadow, yes, but um, it's not enough to have an impact mm. on the green screen itself. Um, so if you spend all day looking for the green screen, you're going to be there a while. Uh, looking for a shadow in the green screen, you'll be there a while. Yeah. A while. Um, so now we've put a camera into shot, yep. as you can see. So this is going to be our main camera. For this one, we've just set it up pretty much eye level, wasn't it? I think yep. we said. Um, now, it depends what you're filming, but like we say in the chroma key video, it's not necessary that your green screen fills the whole camera. You can leave bits and gaps on the side. Um, say, for example, like the pegs. Um, as long as my arm isn't going over those pegs when I'm filming or talking, um, then that's absolutely fine because we can mask that out. So you can check the chroma key video that we released um, uh, on our last video to see what I mean about masking out different areas of the green screen there. I think a good example before you continue, mm. because we've got such a big green screen, um, your point is, is so valid. So we have filled the whole frame. Say you're in an old kitchen style. I don't know if the people who watch this, I know in my house I have one. When there's like hatch doors where people like pass like dishes through, a good example is you could put a, like a green sheet on that hatch door, mm. and as long as whatever is interacting with that hatch door is on that bit of green, you can uh, green screen that bit of green. It just goes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long exactly. as it's lit evenly. So I think my point I'm trying to make is the green screen can be quite small, um, as long as that is the space that you want to key out, as Will said world's kind of your oyster yeah so. exactly right so we'll continue on so steve's just setting up the camera making sure the settings are all correct um he might have spotted a few things now that he's looking through the camera's viewfinder so remember um what we see in our eyes is one thing isn't it but yeah. obviously once you've set up this camera you've noticed something um you, you can talk a little bit more about that so all i saw with uh, just the left of frame just to make life a bit easier was there was the, the creases were slightly more prominent than than we kind of mm. wanted and just looking at the pegs, it was just a nice, easy fix. If you hit play, you'll see all I did was just pinch it all up, and you'll see that that crease is a bit smoother. There is still a very small crease there, but behind Will, it is so nice and yeah, smooth. It was really it. smooth, wasn't it? We're all good. There we go. So now we've uh, set up the camera correctly. We've got our lighting to a point where we're really happy. Something you'll notice once we've cut to the camera shot now, so this is the camera we had in front of me, um, is that the distance between me and the the green screen is enough that the light isn't bouncing off the green screen and back onto me too much yeah um so you see the light around my shoulders uh on both sides there's no like green fringing or anything yeah. like that when it comes to chroma keying it can be really hard to remove that um if there's light bouncing off the back so just be careful that you're sitting far far enough ahead um so what we can see now is once we add the chroma key effect as it comes in here um Almost perfect, I'd yeah, say. Pretty spot on. Um, even if you look at the hair, it's gone quite nicely around there by itself. This yeah. is using the key light software, which I talked about in the previous video. Um, and again, if you look around sort of the shoulder area, no green kind of creeping over. It doesn't look fuzzy at all, it looks quite sharp. Yeah. Um, I believe in this bit, I'm talking about the weather. Yeah. Um, so you can see, there you go. There you, go. you can add diff different <laughs> things coming in and out, completely up to you. Um, and again, you can do this for all sort of like interview techniques. Um, you know, we, we could put anything behind there, couldn't we? News, yeah. Newsroom, anything like that. Um, really straightforward. Again, took us seven minutes to set that up. Yeah. Um, and then the world's, like I said, world's oyster, isn't it? Yeah. In terms of backgrounds and where you want to put your subject. Uh, but I think the, the key thing we want to talk about here, okay, key joke, um, is the lighting, isn't yeah. it? That's, that's probably the most important bit. So I think to summarize, as you say, is make sure your lighting is nice and even. Make sure there's a good distance between the green screen and your subject, so mm. there's no shadows cast on. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, I was going to say a third, but none really comes it's to just mind. Yeah, just keeping it smooth, isn't it? Yeah. The background smooth. Um, and just try and plan out your green screen before you actually mm. do it. Because yeah. when we're filming here, my arms aren't going off the screen. Um, and we, we kind of had a rough idea of what we were doing, what we're talking about. Yeah. Um, and it was the same with, uh, if you watch the anim the one where I was doing Bale's animatic video, um, you can see quite clearly that we hadn't we knew what we were doing before the green screen happened. Um, and then there was bits I could crop out, cut yeah. out, and that made the video work. So yeah, just have a rough idea of what you're doing on the green screen. Um, and that's how you set it up. And that's the end result. Yeah, simple as that. Yeah, Can't all right. complicate it. Perfect. Okay, and that's everything to do with green screen. Thank you very much for watching this TechNet video. We've got new videos each and every Monday, so stay tuned for that. We got we record podcasts on Wednesday and they come out on Thursday. 
Um, so make sure you subscribe. Catch us on social media at F6 Media Film. And we'll see you next time. Catch it. Goodbye.